Hey everybody, glad you're back for chapter two. Uh, just like before, you're gonna want paper and a pencil. If you've got that notebook that you started writing your notes in last time, that would be a really great thing to pull out now. Um, or just any paper will do. If you're not sure that is, that's okay too. Um, there are going to be uh, a couple of words that I want you to keep your ear out for just like before, these two vocabulary words. Um, the words that we're gonna be doing today are what is called speculation and obscenely. Um, I'll go ahead and put those up so that you can see the way they're spelled and written and it'll give you a chance to write them down in your notebook. Speculation, to form a theory or idea without any real evidence. Obscenely, something that is to such an extreme degree that it becomes a little bit disgusting. Chapter two, such a disappointment. Despero Tilling lived, but his existence was cause for much speculation in the mouse community. He's the smallest mouse I've ever seen, said his aunt Florence. It's ridiculous. No mouse has ever, ever been this small, not even a Tilling. She looked at Despero through narrowed eyes as if she expected him to disappear entirely. No mouse, she said again, ever. Despero, his tail wrapped around his feet, stared back at her. Those are some big ears he's got, too, observed his Uncle Alfred. They look more like donkey ears, if you ask me. They are obscenely large ears, said Aunt Florence. Despero wiggled his ears. His Aunt Florence gasped. They say he was born with his eyes open, whispered Uncle Alfred. Despero stared hard at his uncle. Impossible, said Aunt Florence. No mouse, no matter how small or obscenely large-eared, is ever born with his eyes open. It simply isn't done. His pa, Lester, says he's not well, said Uncle Alfred. Despero sneezed. He said nothing in defense of himself. How could he? Everything his aunt and uncle said was true. He was ridiculously small. His ears were obscenely large. He had been born with his eyes open, and he was sickly. He coughed and sneezed so often that he carried a handkerchief in one paw at all times. He ran temperatures. He fainted at loud noises. Most alarming of all, he showed no interest in the things that a mouse should show interest in. He did not think constantly of food. He was not intent on tracking down every crumb, while his larger, older siblings are. Despero stood with his head cocked to one side, holding very still. Do you hear that sweet, sweet sound, he said. I hear the sound of cake crumbs falling out of people's mouths and hitting the floor, said his brother, Tulez. That's what I hear. No, said Despero. It's something else. It sounds like, um, honey. You might have big ears, said Tulez, but they're not attached right to your brain. You don't hear honey. You smell honey when there's honey to smell, which there isn't. Son, barked Despero's father. Snap to it. Get your head out of the clouds and hunt for crumbs. Please, said his mother, look for the crumbs. Eat them to make your mama happy. You are such the skinny mouse. You are a disappointment to your mama. Sorry, said Despero. He lowered his head and sniffed the castle floor. But reader, he was not smelling. He was listening with his big ears to the sweet sound that no other mouse seemed to hear. So for this chapter, I'd like to talk a little bit about character traits. Character traits are things that you can describe, like one word you could use to describe a character's personality over a long period of time. Uh, sometimes people get them confused with things like physical traits 
or emotions. So I'm not talking about things that you can tell just by looking at somebody. Like if you said, oh, that person's tall. That's not a character trait. That's a physical trait. That's something you can tell by looking at their outside. It's uh, a, a character trait is something you would have to know more about them and about their personality to be able to talk about. Um, and another thing that people sometimes get confused with uh, character traits on is emotions. Um, so, for example, uh, being angry is not a character trait. That's an emotion. It's something that you have, um, a feeling that you have that is a response to something that happened to you and is something that tends to happen over a shorter period of time. It's not part of who you are. So you can be angry, but you're not necessarily an angry person. That's not a character trait. That's an emotion. Um, so character traits tend to be things like uh, you're a loyal person or maybe you're a kind person. Those things tend to be more character traits. They're things that have to do with your personality. So here for my notebook work, I started out again at the top with the Tale of Despero so that I can always remember what book I was reading when I was doing this thinking. This has to do with chapter two. So I put that chapter two there in my notebook. From here, I wrote down the vocabulary words from the beginning, which are speculation, which is to form a theory or an idea without any real evidence, and also obscenely, something that is to such an extreme degree that it becomes a little bit disgusting. Next, under this, I wrote down what a character trait is, that it's a word that tells about a character's personality. To help me remember, I also put physical trait and emotion and crossed those out so that I wouldn't accidentally confuse those kinds of words with a character trait. Now for chapter two, I went ahead and made a list of who the new characters are that we've just been introduced to. So we have in these characters, we have Florence, who is Despero's aunt. We have Alfred, which is Despero's uncle, and Lester, who is Despero's father. So your work for chapter two is around this question. What are some of Despero's character traits so far? What part of the book tells us this? It's always important to be able to back up what you're saying about a book with evidence from the text. If not, you're just saying kind of random things and it's not the same as really being able to prove what you're saying. So that is your work. So what you'll do is either on the paper where you have some space or turning to your next clean paper, you're going to do that thinking now. Once you get through Despero's and if you'd like a challenge or if you'd like to extend it, go back to chapter one and now chapter two and see if you can do character traits for all the different characters that we have uh, been introduced to so far. And that will be your work for chapter two.